Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and welcome back to another episode of Just Cause 4 Mythbusters. First myth comes from Joe Ya. He says, can you test the max depth you can dive in water from impact on water without swimming? Like if you boost into the water with your wingsuit, thanks. And surprisingly, I actually didn't go that far. And I'm pretty sure this is actually a thing in real life where there's a certain speed, no matter how fast you go after that speed, where no matter how fast you go after that speed, you still dive the same depth and there's the answer to your question. Second myth, how fast do you go on your wingsuit? Uh, so basically what I did is I went to the biggest airport in Solis. I got the fastest car in Solis that I know about at least. And I accelerated to max speed and went across these little lines. And then I did the same thing with the wingsuit. Uh, you know what? There's no real unit of measurement that I can go by to calculate the speed. But if I do end up doing something during editing, then I will put it up on screen. I'll just put a little side by side so you guys can tell how fast they're going pretty much. And that's pretty much it to the myth. Next myth is can you land with a car? As in land a plane while you have a car attached to the back of the plane. Now this is something that I've actually wanted to try for a while, but I just never really figured it out. So I grabbed one of the invisible jets. Um, those are actually one of my favorite planes. I don't know the exact name of them, but the black hand jets that go invisible. And I strapped a car to the back of it, and I tried to land, and it blew up. Every single time, it blew up. So that obviously wasn't working at first i thought it blew up because we were landing at close to 100 kilometers per hour so that would mean the game treats it as a car slamming into the ground at 100 kilometers per hour but then i tried it with the newly added vertical takeoff and landing jet and to my surprise it actually worked and it's not like you were going significantly slower you were probably within 20 kilometers per hour within the visijet while we're on the topic of how much weight you can carry with the vtol at this point i knew i could carry one so i added two more did it with that it worked perfectly fine and then i jumped to a large truck and that didn't work so i went back to regular cars. So I knew the maximum weight a VTOL could handle was in between three cars and an 18 wheeler. So I added four cars. And here's where it gets interesting. I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can add as many as you want, right? But three is like the balance. If you go to four, everything just starts exploding and anything after four, everything, they get tangled up and they start exploding together. So uh, yeah, you don't want to go over three really. The next myth is how far can you throw a car with a new gravity gun or uh, I think it's called the storm along uh, with some numbers. I don't know the exact name, but uh, it's basically a gravity gun from Half-Life 2. You pick it up, you throw it. It's really cool. I did this a couple times and I got around 760, 750 meters each time and uh, yeah pretty simple i like this gun a lot you can pick up some really huge things with it and it is definitely a nice addition to the game and one last thing uh, i guess it's a bonus myth it actually happened by accident see i was taking off from the runway and uh you know let me just play it for you and now i'm going to play it in slow-mo so you guys can fully grasp how close it actually was to it But yeah, that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to comment down below if you have any other myths for me to test and I'll see you guys later. Peace.